Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Schubert here once again with Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see here, uh, the uh, game started us off basically right at the same bridge that I saved the doctor from. Or the doctor. The, uh, the reverend from, I think. Oh, shut up. You're fine. Easy, girl. You're Easy, okay. girl. You're okay, girl. I think this is like the same bridge, isn't it? I don't know. Anyways, it started us off here. Uh, you can see we've got a couple white spots on the map, so I'm going to check those out before I do anything else. Got a couple question marks. Um, there's one right here, and then there's one right about where the H is on the compass there towards the east. But I want to check out just what the hell this is, because I don't remember. <laughs> so I recorded a video yesterday. I got it uploading to YouTube as we speak. It uh, did actually work properly. Hey, there's some light over there, so that must be it. Anyways, um, I, I seem to be able to, or seem to have fixed, at least partially, the problem that I had with uh, the video lagging and stuff like that. Uh, we'll just see how things continue to go. I mean, it's all a learning process and everything else, so just wish me luck. <laughs> all right, let's see what this guy has to offer us. I just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What do you want there, buddy? Can I greet him yet? I'm, that should be close enough. Let me greet Senor. him. What's the problem? There we go. Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. <laughs> I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, Good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me. Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ten dollars. Should we take it? I mean, I'm pretty sure I got ten dollars on me. We'll take it. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Jack Hall Gang Treasure. All right. Well, hey, hey, good, good for you for good luck to you. Good for you for having many women. <laughs> I have had many women. Yeah, you know who says that? Somebody that hasn't had any women at all. <laughs> I also love how he started that off. No, no, there is no problem. Well, there is a problem. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, anyways. Yeah, so another, you know, treasure hunt side quest kind of thing. Seems to be a shit ton of those within Red Dead Redemption 2. Give you a nice pair. There you go. Anyways. Seems to be a lot of those kinds of side quests within this game. Uh, you know, collectibles and uh, treasure hunting and stuff like that. I don't know. 
maybe someday I'll just take a, take a day to record an episode of me treasure hunting. But uh, I don't know if I'll do that any time right now soon here today. Uh, there was another question mark on the map. Where the hell did that? Oh, okay. Straight ahead. Another question mark straight ahead, so we're going to check that out. Okay, it seems to me the question mark is coming from over here at Flat Neck Station. Probably just another freaking, you know, side mission thing. But uh, we'll check it out. Well, pretty much I know it's a side mission thing. My horse must have hated me. I'm getting lots of plus ones from her. But I thought my bonding was up as high as it would go. Maybe not. Oh, is it you? Yeah, it's you. Do you smoke, sir? Uh, well, yeah. Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rampart, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. What kind of car did he give me? Phineas T. Ramsbottom. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> All I can think about is uh, <laughs> minions. <laughs> Bottom. Anyways, okay, so, yeah, like I was stating before, a ton of random collect this, collect that, you know, sorts of things that can happen within this game. It's kind of frightening in a way. <laughs> I mean, I haven't beat the main story yet, but... Uh, with so many different side quests and, and random events and things that you can do, you know, I wouldn't doubt it if there's some of you out there that have lost thousands of hours in this game. I shouldn't say lost. I should say enjoyed. But, uh... And why, why was that guy smoking all the cigarettes? Like, he could just buy the packs and then sell the cigarettes or, like, give them away. <laughs> he didn't have to smoke 200 cigarettes a day just buy the pack get the card get rid of the cigarettes <laughs> hey hey this way you gotta help me out here mister can you please jeez louise the amount uh, of the run for events now. here uh, if you could help me with these shackles i, I just might have a chance is this a good Arthur move or a bad Arthur move? I don't know. Let's go first person, make sure we're doing this right. Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm, I'm trying to, otherwise. you dick. Stop moving. Easy enough. Oh. oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but 
They were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. So in the first ten minutes I've been playing this game, we've got three different side quest-ish sort of things, collectibles and whatever, that we can do. Not to mention all the actual story mission dots you see on the map. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, how how was that a good Arthur move? I don't... Did you notice that? I got a positive move from that. An honorable whatever. You know, positive honor. We'll put it that way. I, I don't understand how that was considered positive. I mean, I let an escaped prisoner go. That should have been a negative. Yeah. And again, there is another question mark. This one wasn't even on the map at first, I don't think. Hold on, let me check this. What am I walking into? Yeah, another, <laughs> another question mark. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video now. Question marks galore. <laughs> Random events. Random events. Alright, what does this guy want? Did the university send you? Oh, this lady. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really? Laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? I met this lady before. Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! <laughs> and now we gotta find dinosaur bones, okay. Wait, 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 wait. How are you peeling out? <laughs> That's not how wagons work. Your tires don't... Your wheels, I should say, don't just spin. Oh my god, what a confusing day. Alright, can I get something real done, please? Let's go. <laughs> Like I said, maybe at some point I'll decide to uh, just scour this countryside for dinosaur bones or cigarette cards or whatever else. But as for now, I just kind of want to play through the damn game. I mean, I know PC playthroughs or not PC playthroughs, but playthroughs of any kind are kind of, uh, you know, out of style. But, you know, I'm already playing the game, so I might as well record it and put it up on YouTube, you know. He was beating on me every day. I had no choice. Talk all you want, lady. It won't make no difference. Prison transport. Keep clear. Move. Now. You've used up my patience. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we haven't heard that before. 
That's one of those random events. I, gosh, you know, <laughs> you want to believe her, but I think if I intervene, then I'm, I'm in the wrong. I don't know if that counts for honor. It's more. I think it's dishonor if I'm killing the guards and and helping her escape. I, I just, you know, I don't know with this game sometimes, like. Shooting that prisoner shackles, to me, that would be dishonorable because you're allowing a prisoner to escape, but it's hard to tell. I don't know. I'll let the courts decide her fate. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, here we are. Looks like we've finally made our way up to Hosea. Which way do I go? Do I keep... Yeah, do I keep going this way? Yeah, go up and around this way. I'm trying to stick to the roads because I know there's been uh, plenty of times where, man, oh man, I thought I was in the right spot and then I fall over a cliff. <laughs> Not since I started recording the videos, luckily, so I haven't embarrassed myself that much, but uh, we're going to see what Hosea has to offer. I already know, but you know. I'm gonna keep it a secret. And uh, this is an important thing I do know because it unlocks that way of it, whatever they call it. I forget what they call it. Very well. It's trusting. I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? All right, Jose, what you got? Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> okay, so we get to rob a stagecoach. Or... Rob a stagecoach. We're stealing a stagecoach? I don't know. Dude, don't run me over. Come on. I don't want to get hurt before we start. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Watch out. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Can you just get this done? Okay, looks like we've got to head off that way somewhere. Let's go ahead on through the town. Careful there, doggy. Don't get run over. Um, gonna try to do this without the map. I think we can go all the way through the town. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. 
A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. The fence, that's what it's called, the fence, okay. Uh, I was just heading this way so that I could stay on the trail. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Wanna go up this way? <laughs> out, Arthur. Look, Al, you're the one who ran into me. Calm down. Oh shit. <laughs> I did I didn't mean to do any of that. Okay, well, I fail at trying to navigate without the little uh GPS line. But uh you know, I didn't know in the eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds that they had GPS. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'll just uh cut across country and try to be careful. So that I don't uh, drive my ass over a cliff. Whoa. Buffaloes. Okay, looks like we got some train tracks up here we can cross. I don't, you know, I don't know that I've seen buffalo in this game before. But whether playing this version or the uh, PlayStation version. I just don't think I've ever come across them. Okay, here we are. Finally. After my horrible navigating skills. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Alright, let's go on foot. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Uh, should I grab my rifle just in case? Yeah, I'm gonna grab my rifle just in case. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, well, I'm gonna sneak up. Oh, fine, I'll walk up. <laughs> Wanted to sneak, okay, you know? Let's take a quick look at the place. Yeah. What do you see? What do you see? R to view the item. Oh, and uh, yeah, okay. Cool. She's teaching me how to look through the binoculars. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? I'm gonna do this right now, during the day. Let's do it now. Sure. All right then. Don't follow me. Well, no shit. <laughs> that would uh, ruin the point of you distracting them. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. I just wait behind this rock until he has him distracted? I think I will. My good man! My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost! How am I hidden? 
I'm like in plain sight. They should be able to see me. Here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name, my name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now, that's... Not All right, important. first person time. I have been saved. I have been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the third? I'm interested in no All religion. right. We're going to take every damn thing they have in this house, by the way. I am not going to leave a damn thing behind. Trouble is, I want to make sure I'm not caught. So I'm closing drawers as I go also. Okay, that one's there. I got a little chest here. Ooh, a platinum band thingy. Money clip. Got lots of stuff that can help out the camp. Let's see. Let's get that chest. Can open this up over here. <gasps> Snake oil, but I don't need it, so we're gonna close that. Stay crouched so that I don't make too much noise. God, that's a little disorienting going through there like that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Got another chest on the floor. They like their chests, I see. This one, for some reason, has a money clip and a pearl necklace. It's like, why would you leave this stuff in random chests? You know? Why wouldn't you have that in in one chest and probably have it hidden? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bread trunk, bread chunk. Just, just to fuck with what the hell? Who ate my cheese? <laughs> Is there something up here? No, okay. Anything above me there? No, no. All right, time to steal a bunch of food. <laughs> oh, got some food for my horsey. Some apples and apples and bononos, carrots and apples. That's about it there. What's over here? Kentucky bourbon. Well, I don't need any of that right now. Search the chimney. Always got to search the chimney. We figured that out. How would you have money in the chimney? That doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't it burn up? Anyways. Time to go upstairs. Keep talking, Hosea. Keep talking. We got an upstairs to loot yet. Alright, what do you got in your wardrobe? <gasps> Gold bracelet. Hell yeah. Some ginseng elixir. Yeah, what's that? More snake oil? I ain't made a Search the drawers. Like, this makes more sense. Okay, you'd have a watch here in the wardrobe. You know, your son, wherever he puts his clothes, he'd have stuff. But the, uh... The whole... Oh, in this random chest, I got a platinum watch. And in this chest, I got this. And in this chest, I got that. What? You quit talking to him? You son of a bitch. This is the first time that this has ever happened to me. That was really strange, huh? Yeah. I don't know who's more of a fool. Me or him. How did that feel? Worse, I think. Did I take too long? Did I frickin' take too long? Oh, man. How do I get out? I can't. I don't think I can escape out the window. God damn it, I trapped myself. Oh, how do I do this without killing him? Because I don't want to kill him. Uh 
Oh, shit. Can I just jump out the window here? What the hell are you doing I can! <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I've never done this before. Uh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Let me in, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the fuck out, come on. Go, baby, go. If you come after us, you're dead. You hear me? Do 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 What the fuck? I have never got myself stuck in that fucking situation like that. Not being able to go. Any other time I've done that mission, I've moved quickly. I've even closed all the drawers like I did there. And I was still able to. Damn it, Arthur, why did you start there? Just wanted to get this done with. I had to get out, dude. Down. And I wanted this done quiet and simple, but there we go. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just in shock at what happened there. I have no idea. So, what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they're right on my ass. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa, whoa. Did they just disappear off their horses? Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. What are we waiting for? Park that thing in here. I'm trying to figure out what the hell just happened. Their horses don't have anybody on them. But I still see them on the map. <laughs> oh, what a weird, what a weird turn of events. We would have got chased anyways, because the second we get out of the barn, then they chase us. But uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here, thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, should we accept or decline? I'll accept. Sure. So I think what happened there is I started too far away. You know? I should have been snuck around towards the back of the house before he even started to try to distract the kid. And I think had I done that, we'd have been in a better position. Wouldn't have got caught up, stuck upstairs. I'm just glad you could jump through that window. <laughs> uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. <laughs> we uh, robbed a nice family, father and son of their stolen stagecoach and uh, unlocked all sorts of random ass events and things we can do uh, doing my part here at the camp you know letting everybody know that Arthur doesn't shy away from work you know and uh, <laughs> don't know what I'll do yet in the next episode as you can see to the south southwest-ish we can go talk to Javier uh, towards the north, we can go talk to Arthur's lady friend. We can talk to Dutch. And then there also were two um, pieces of one of those side missions over there by Emerald Ranch. I think I'll go and kind of clear those out and uh, just maybe see what other, you know, what other kind of side missions I could do. So until then, have yourselves a great day. Oh, great. 
Shut up. Mr. Morgan. What? Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Uh, the Reverend will drink again, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Thanks for watching. It's been an interesting episode. And once again, hopefully the recording turned out all right. <laughs>